Me because uh, Facebook is involves sort of the pressure to look good all the time, which is something I really wish I could change about the world. Like it shouldn't be a thing that we are judged in every social situation now if we've been tagged. Um, and, but I know this mainly comes from my sort of love of food, um, which you know the two don't always go together. Um, so I wrote this this short this short fiction about sort of. It's my relationship to food, but it's not about me, so I don't, I don't need to think that it is, because it isn't. <laughs> I'll take that one, please. Her voice is hushed and low, as if enacting some seedy drug deal in broad daylight. Certainly, the man at the counter replies, with all the sultry acquiescence of one who'd just been asked if he fancied a quick snogging session round the back of the shop, which was not a proposition she had made him. <laughs> Out loud. <laughs> the sexual tension is palpable. What seems like seconds pass as she longingly eyes the bulletin package. At last, he hands it over. It is warm and steaming, too hot to handle almost. But then they do pride themselves on the quality of their pasties. <laughs> Holding the precious bundle in her hands, she feels like the cat who got the cream. The golem who got the ring. The he who must not be named who got the boy who lived. <laughs> the pasty is crisp and golden and full of God knows how many calories. But there's no going back now. She knows that full well. She's tripping. Cornish tripping. <laughs> she lifts the pasty to her mouth, parting her lips to inhale the toxic allure of the forbidden. Slowly, so slowly. She pulls back its wrapper and takes a bite. The hit is instantaneous. <laughs> All at once her head is dancing with the pixies. She utters a soft moan, so quiet and visceral, the man she passes in the street second guesses the success of his psychotherapy sessions for the nymphomania that makes him think that the strangers he passes in the street are groaning in pleasure at the mere sight of him. But <laughs> <laughs> just stop staring, you pervert! <laughs> <laughs> but she is not to know that. The feeling is so strong, suspense. <laughs> her knees begin to buckle. She clambers to the nearest park bench, which happens to house packets of several unused needles. But what use are such drugs to her when this ecstasy is within her grasp? She takes another bite, too feverishly this time. Pastry crumbs flake onto her heaving bosom. <laughs> Indelible evidence, like the mark of Cain, if Cain hadn't killed his brother and had actually just bugged up his January diet plan. <laughs> As the next wave of euphoria hits, Kate Moss drifts in on a pasty thermal, does a little, I'm better than you, wiggle. But by the powers of short crush, she departs as swiftly as she came, her bony little ass ousted by the woman's sudden question to herself. Is this really better than cocaine? <laughs> Smiling, the woman answers herself. Yes, Nigel. Yes, Nigel. <laughs>